What's up everybody? Chef Girl here delivering you guys another hot video today. Today we are doing another unboxing video. This time it is from HelloFresh. Um, those of you that don't know, HelloFresh is a delivery service where you go online and you pick out a couple meals and they send you the ingredients and you actually make the meals yourself. So um, I have not opened this yet. I've just um, undid the tape on it and we're going to hop right into it. All right, so on the top of the box here, we have a couple, it looks like recipe cards. Um, our first one is apricot ginger chicken with roasted green beans and jasmine rice. Sounds really fancy. And then on the back, it has your instructions. Um, this one includes ginger, green beans, apricot jam, jasmine rice, uh, chicken cutlets, and chicken stock concentrate. It says the prep time is five minutes. The total cook time is 25 minutes, and it's 580 calories per serving. Our next one is beef taco flatbreads with charred poblano and two kinds of cheese. There's what that one looks like. And then the back of that one is also the recipe card. This one has Roma tomatoes, cilantro, ground beef, Mexican cheese blend, Monterey Jack cheese, hot sauce, poblano peppers, jalapeno peppers, Southwest spice blend, flatbreads, and sour cream. Um, the prep time on this one is 10 minutes and the total cook time is 25 minutes. This is 930 calories per serving. We got a couple other cards here. Um, what's in this? This is a 50% off your first wine box. Uh, I noticed on these recipe cards here, um, you can pair it with certain wines and it shows you the different ones that you can pair it with. So this, um, apricot ginger chicken it says to pair this with a fruity wine and then the um, beef flatbread says to pair it with a bold wine so that's just a little deal inside that one there's another this oh this is advertising the app so I guess they have an app and let's see what's underneath the box so it says don't forget about ingredients which may be hiding under the ice this comes packaged in some really good insulation there's like really soft insulation here make sure the ingredients don't get damaged and then they've also got ice packs in here as well which is really good all right the first one looks like kind of like to-go bags this one is for the beef taco flatbreads. So let's just go ahead and open this one up. Oh, this is cool. All right, so it's got some little packets of cheese here. Some more cheese. That one. All right, so it looks like you get four flatbreads total. These are actually really good size. It's like... Oh, a little bit bigger than your average reading book, I guess you could say. We got four flatbreads total. We got this cute little box of cilantro. It is 0.25 ounces, which actually a little bit of cilantro goes a long way, so it's quite a bit. We got poblano pepper. We actually got two poblano peppers. And I'm assuming you would char those on the stove just over open flame. Got some more cilantro. That's, that's quite generous. And then we've got some tomatoes. These are really firm tomatoes too. We got our jalapeno. A little bit of jalapeno will go a long way as well. Let's see. And then we got various packets of things in here. Um, Southwest Spice Blend. It says warm and smoky. Yeah, we got two of these. Four tubes of sour cream. So one for each flatbread. 
And then what's this one? We have, oh, this is the hot sauce. We got two packets of hot sauce. And that's all for that one. Okay. Our next one here is the apricot ginger chicken. Alright. First thing we got in here is the green beans. It's actually quite a few green beans. It looks like we've got two of these. Yeah, that's quite a few. That's like four portions there. Ooh, I can smell that ginger. Speaking of, it's right here. So we've got a couple chunks of ginger. This is in here. Some rice. Oh, this is the jasmine rice. Looks pretty, pretty simple. And, well, these are cute. Bonnie, Bonnie Mammon, Mammon, apricot preserves. And they're just like little jars. You got two of them little jars of apricot jam and chicken oh these are the um the chicken kind of like chicken bouillon in a way it's the uh the base to a stock all right and that's all in that one and if you remember from earlier we had a sign that says don't forget about the ingredients i'm hiding under the ice we got another one right here so that's our sign to keep digging. Oh, this must be the ice that it's talking about. Just a big old chunk of ice here. So we have, we've got some chicken. This looks like two chicken breasts. There's two chicken breasts in there. And then we've got another set of two chicken breasts. We also have Ooh, this is really good. It's 8515 ground beef. And we have two of these as well. So 8515, that's a really good um, percent. Looks like that's all we have in there. So the next segment we'll do is um, we'll pick out one of these recipes to try out. And we'll do a cooking demo. And then we'll try it all right everyone so we're gonna get started on making the beef taco flatbreads um this one actually looks pretty good it might be my favorite out of the two so let's get into it all right so we have the beef taco flatbreads recipe let's see what the first step is it says prep Place a foil lined baking sheet on top rack, two baking sheets on top, a middle racks for four servings, preheat oven to 450 degrees. All right, so let's do this. Let's go up to 450 and start. All right, wash and dry all produce. Okay, well, let's get the produce done. Washing my tomatoes. And we got all the peppers here. I'm washing all the peppers. Alright, so the next step. Finely chop tomato. Core, de-seed, and sliced poblano. Fourth inch pieces. Finely chopped cilantro. Sliced jalapeno and thin rounds. Removing ribs and seeds for the heat. For less heat. Okay, so I'll see you when I get all this done. Alright, so this did have an option where it recommended charring the poblanos so that's just what i'm doing now as you can see it's getting some char marks on it and this will help enhance the flavor all right so these are looking pretty good i think i'll go ahead and take them off here pretty charred on both sides a little trick if you put them in a bowl let's turn this off if you put them in a bowl and then you cover them for Oh, probably about two to three, maybe five minutes. It'll help the skin release later on. All right, let's check on our poblano peppers here. Let's see how well the skin comes off. Oh yeah, if you guys can see right here, it just scrapes right off. So I'm gonna scrape all this off and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I got all of my um, produce 
chopped up here. You got your charred poblanos, the tomatoes, jalapeno. I only did half of the jalapeno. And I only did one of the containers of cilantro. Step number two was to char the poblano, which I kind of skipped ahead a little bit and I just charred it over open fire. So that's okay. And then step number three is to cook the beef. So heat a drizzle of oil in the same pan over medium high heat, add beef, season with salt and pepper. Um, cook, breaking up the meat into pieces until brown and cooked through four to five minutes. Keeping beef in the pan, drain any excess grease, stir in poblano tomato and two teaspoons southwest spice. And we'll use the rest later. Cook until tomato begins to break down, two to three minutes, season with salt and pepper. All right, so let's get the meat started. All right, so we got our meat going here. I'm just gonna add some seasoning. It says to add salt and pepper, but you could probably just use whatever type of seasoning that you prefer. I'm using a local seasoning of mine. It's called Riley's. It's basically just the all-purpose seasoning. And I'll see you guys whenever they start to brown. Alright, so it looks like our hamburger is pretty much done. Uh, the next step is just to drain the grease out of it. So let's drain the grease and we'll be right back. Alright, our grease is drained. Let's see what the next step is. Right here, um, drain any excess grease. Stir in poblano, tomato, and two teaspoons of Southwest Spice. I'm probably just going to add... The poblanos, um, I'm going to keep my tomatoes raw. I actually prefer uh, uncooked tomatoes, so I'm going to leave those out and I'll add them on at the end. And then two teaspoons of Southwest Spice. Let's look at our spice here. You get one tablespoon. Now there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon, so we're going to use about three-fourths of this, 75%. Um, pretty decent amount in there and we got two of them and it says we're going to save some for the end. So um, let's go ahead and add in our poblanos and our spice blend. Alright, it's basically just a taco seasoning. So Southwest spice blend. So we'll save that amount. Okay, now let's add our poblanos. Right, we got our poblanos here, so let's add all of them in. Okay. And let's just stir it all together here. It says to season this again, but um, with all the seasoning we added at the beginning, plus our southwest seasoning, I think um, it's probably a pretty good amount of seasoning in here. I did add a little bit more than three-fourths of the bag of the seasoning mix. So, we'll just do it to taste. But I think there's plenty in here. Alright, so uh, in place of adding the tomatoes, it didn't um, have as much moisture in there. So I basically replaced that amount of moisture from the tomatoes with about two to three tablespoons of water and that kind of helped the seasoning all combine with the hamburger and the poblanos. Let's take a look at step four here. All right, so carefully place flatbreads on preheated sheet. Drizzle both sides of flatbreads with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. All right, toast in oven until golden brown and crisp five to seven minutes. Okay, so let's do that next. All right, so we got our flatbreads here. We got some olive oil. Let's go ahead and drizzle some of this on. And we'll just rub it on here. You can also use um, a brush, but sometimes it's faster just to go ahead and use your clean hands. I'm just about done here. All right, let me go ahead and do the other side real quick. All right, so we put the oil on our flatbreads. Um, we put the salt and pepper like I said to. Um, I just pulled it out of the oven 
and it's said to do five to seven minutes. I put it in there for five minutes. Let's see what step five is. Remove toast of flatbreads from oven, then evenly top with beef mixture. Sprinkle with both cheeses, return to oven, and bake until cheese melts about two minutes. All right, so let's top our flatbreads. We've got our beef mixture here. Let's go ahead and add a couple spoonfuls onto each one. All right, we got our cheese on there and back into the oven they go. <laughs> so it's just set it for about two minutes. Set so it, we'll do three. We'll open it. All right, now we wait. All right, let's pull out our flatbreads. They look pretty good. All right, so the last step, it says in a small bo small bowl. Combine sour cream and remaining Southwest Spice. Stir in water one teaspoon at a time till mixture reaches a drizzling consistency. Season with salt and pepper. Drizzle flatbreads with uh, crema hot and hot sauce to taste. Sprinkle with cilantro and as much sliced jalapeno as you like. Cut into slices and serve. So let's make this sour cream mixture. All right, so here we have our sour cream and the rest of our seasoning. Let's start out with just a little bit of water, like it suggests. About that much, and we'll start mixing it together and see what we get. Alright, so we got it to the consistency that we want here. It says enough to drizzle. So we'll go ahead and finish topping the flatbreads and finish them up. Alright, so this is what the final product look like. looks like. It actually looks really good. Um, I'm really glad I did the non-cooked tomatoes because it really adds a pop of color to the top of it. So let's cut into it and try it. Alright everyone, we broke out our fine china. Let's give this a try. It's definitely got a spice to it. It's very similar to a taco pizza. It's got good flavor. Basically tacos on a shell and a flatbread. I mean, it's basically in the name. I give this a thumbs up. Um, if you're not into spicy foods, I probably wouldn't recommend this. Um, you could probably opt out of putting jalapenos on there. Um, but otherwise, the spice that the, uh, the basically taco seasoning has in it. It's still got a little kick to it. The poblanos obviously have a kick to it. But all in all, I give this a thumbs up. All right, everyone, we're gonna wrap this one up here. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed. I definitely had a lot of fun making this. Um, drop a comment below if you have any other recipes that you want me to try, if you need any advice with something. I am a culinary graduate. Uh, fun facts, so um, I could probably answer most questions. Um, I do have a another recipe that came with my box, so we will be making that again sometime in the near future. Um, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.